Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about the JavaScript slice, splice and split methods. Since their names are similar, they are being confused a lot. So I decided to make a video to clear up the confusion by using and explaining them each in an example one by one. But before we begin, if you want to learn more about web development, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, now currently I am in the Chrome developer tools and let's start with the splice method. We use this splice method only for arrays in JavaScript in order to add or remove elements from an array. Suppose that we have a numbers array with three elements. Now, if you want to add new elements to this array by using this splice method, sure, there are also easier ways to do that, but in this video, I am showing only for the splice method. Let me call our array first. Now, the first parameter will be the index number which determines where exactly in the array to add new elements. Let's choose the index as zero, for example. So the new elements will be added to the beginning of the array. And the second parameter is the number of how many elements will be removed from the array. So we can add and remove elements at the same time if we like. If no elements will be deleted, then we will also write this as zero. And the rest of the parameters are the elements that will be added, can be more than one parameter. So let's try, for example, three elements, four, five, and six. Okay, now if I call the numbers array again, we will see that now it's expanded to six elements and the new elements, four, five, and six, have added to the beginning of the array because we have chosen the index number as zero. Okay, so this is the way how to add elements with the splice method. You don't have to memorize it, I already documented it in my article, you can check it later from there, the link is in the description below. Now let's remove an element uh, again by using the splice method. For removing elements, we need to give again the index parameter and the number of elements to be removed. There is a little important thing here, which is that elements which have a smaller index number from the given array won't be removed. For example, if I give the index number as 2, the first two elements at index 0 and 1 won't be removed. And I will choose the second parameter, which is how many elements to be deleted, as 1. So each time I will call this splice method, elements will be removed starting from the index number 2, one by one until there is no element left. So let's try. Now the first element at index number 2 has removed, but not the elements which has a smaller index. And if I call it again, this time we see that one is removed and this continues until no element is left. Let's continue with the slice method. The slice method can be used both for arrays and strings in JavaScript. Now let's define a string here. Now the usage for strings is that the slice method extracts a defined part of a string and returns the extracted parts as a new string. We just need to give the starting and the ending points as parameters. For example, I want to take the first word, hello, so I need to write the starting point as zero and the ending point as five. Now, if I run this, and let's assign it to a new variable, new word. Okay, now if I call the new word, we could achieve to see the word hello. We can also use the slice method for arrays. The slice method copies a given part of an array and returns that copied part as a new array. What here important is that it doesn't change the original array like the splice method does. So going back to our numbers array, we need to define again two parameters as the starting index and the ending index. For example, when I want to slice the first two elements from our numbers array, I need to start from index zero and end at index two. Now here is the tricky part. When I want to slice the first two elements from the numbers array, I must give the second parameter as two because the slice method does not include the last given index. So when I write here two, it will start from zero, continues with index number one, but does not include number two. So if I want to get the first two elements, 
I must declare here, I need to declare here too. This is one of the important things to be careful about this slice method. If you like, you can also assign a new variable, like new numbers, and then we can assign the sliced elements to a new array and lock them to the console. So let's do that. So when I do this and call the new numbers variable, we will see that the slice method copies these elements and passes to the new numbers variable as an array. And if I call now the old numbers array again, we see that nothing has changed because the slice method does not change the original array like the split method does. This is also one of the important things to be careful about. The final method I would like to explain is the split method. The split method can be used only for strings and not for arrays. And what it does is that the split method divides a string into substrings and returns them as an array. Like we did in the slice method, it takes two parameters and the first parameter is a separator. We can use empty spaces or commas for example. I will take the comma and the comma will be the separator here. And the second parameter is the limit. I will limit this with one. So only one word will be in. So as we can see, it only takes hello. However, if I change this with three for example, this time we see that it will take all of the three words in that string and put them in an array. This is basically what the split method does. Well, there are also many other built-in methods for JavaScript, which makes the life easier for us programmers. I will cover them later in my other videos. If you find this video useful, please like and share. Thank you for your time and see you guys around.